Hello Panthers, this is Mr. Nanas the Tech Teacher and this is week 8 code.org. This is for 3rd, 4th, and 5th graders. Let's get started. I'm starting out on my website, 3rd graders, 4th graders, 5th graders. You can click on the code.org button. If you know how to get there already, you can also just search for code.org. I've got it ready up here for myself, but go ahead and click on it. And then click on sign in and then Microsoft, alright? sign in and then microsoft we should get to your list of activities a lot of you have been progressing through the angry birds through the ice age through the treasure um treasure hunt collection activity and the fourth activity if some of you make it there some of you have maybe already started is the art with code and so i want to explain that for this video for this week eight now, I'm not going to play the video, but please play the video, watch it. It'll help you. It'll help understand these concepts. So these are some new concepts in this drawing art activity. I'm going to press continue. And so the first one um, gives you a space just to explore and see what some of these features do. You're going to be seeing very common features of moving forward, turning right, turning left. But now there's a couple of new blocks as well. All right, you're gonna see a set color, set color random. You're also gonna see a jump forward button or you can click on it and it'll change it to jump backward, all right? And the idea for this first one is just getting to know and be familiar with what these commands do. And you're also gonna see this strange unit of measure called pixels. And so what this is meaning is that this character here is going to move and when he moves, he's drawing a line uh, depending on what color you choose and so we want to also include the color I'm going to choose red for this example you can click on it and change the colors and you could also choose the random one instead if you wanted to but the idea is that you're moving forward wherever he's facing and he's facing this way and he's going to move a hundred pixels in other words little dots if we were to zoom in on our computer screen our monitor you would see these tiny little squares make up the whole monitor and so we're moving a hundred of those it's not in the grand scheme of things, it's not very much, but check it out. I'm going to press run so you can see. And so then you have some options here as well. I could slow down the pace by moving this little cursor, or I could speed it up. Okay. And so it'll draw it quickly. Now, if I make some adjustments, right, you're going to see that you put some of these together. You can start drawing shapes or other stuff. Oh, I need one more forward. And I drew a square. A little slow motion there for you. Okay. So, you could also experiment with the repeat, repeat block. So, if I didn't want to put all that, check it out. A lot less code, and it's going to complete what I just did here a second ago. Okay. So the idea is to keep progressing. I'll do one more here. I'm going to press finish and press next. And you can keep experimenting. I didn't do the jump forward um, button or jump backward, but experiment with that. Basically, it'll be like picking up the pencil and putting it somewhere else if you wanted to draw something else in a different location. And so you want to go ahead and follow what the, they tell you at the top. You can press play to listen to the more directions, but basically they're going to give you challenges of drawing certain things on the game space for example he wants us to enclose this monster figure there's two shapes that have been drawn we're missing a shape and this line has to be 100 pixels similar to what it's already showing us what it starts off with okay oh and i'm going to choose set color random for this one all right let's see what i get i get this mintish light greenish bluish color there but yeah look see Let's do one last one, and then you guys can explore and try on your own. They get a little bit more harder as you progress, all right? So don't give up. If you need help, ask for help. Ask questions, all right? Here's your last one. Now we got to do the full shape. Very similar to the box I did in that first, uh, or lesson number two, just by messing around. So I'm going to get this um, repeat button. I'm going to do it four times. And they're also telling us we're going to go 100 pixels and move 90 degrees. All right, if you've watched the video, you learn it and, and listen to how our turns are 90 degrees. Traditional, just turn left, turn right is 90, but then you could also customize those, change those up. 
For example, if I click on the 90, it'll tell us in what direction, a different type of direction that we can turn. But for our example here, we want to keep it this way. I'm going to do random again. I find random a lot more fun. And so, moving forward, turning to the right, moving forward, turning to the right, we're moving forward 100 pixels. As you progress, you're going to find out that sometimes the length of the, of the pixels or the degrees are changed and you got to look up in the directions up top to give you an idea how to finish those, all right? Panthers, I'm going to stop here for now for this code.org week 8 lesson. If you guys have made it this far, great. If you haven't, that's okay too. You can always do code.org at any, any time you have, any free time, whether it's computer lab, it's in your class or at home. But code.org is a lot of fun. I can't wait to see you guys in class. Try this out. Bye for now.